During World War II, a couple, uh, an old couple, heard the sound of an air raid, and they heard distant, you know, planes dropping bombs. And this man Frank said to his wife um, Joanne, he said, "Joanne, we got to get out of here. Let's run." And they ran out of the home, and then she took, you know, um, she went, tried to go back in. And uh, Frank said, what's wrong? Why are you going back in the home? It's not safe there, you know, it's, it's an air raid. And she said, I forgot my teeth in there. And he said, Joanne, for God's sake, they're not dropping sandwiches. They're dropping bombs. You don't, you're not going to need your teeth. You're not going to need your teeth. But you know what? If a sandwich is dropped from such a height, perhaps it would be no less than a bomb in many ways. When we do something, when we take something that doesn't belong to us, no matter how small, no matter how insignificant, believe me, it is impossible for anybody to ascertain what the consequences of such an action would be. Nothing is insignificant in the play of nature. Nothing is small. That level of personal integrity is the quintessential basis of bhakti, of devotion, of spiritual attainment of any kind. Covetousness means you have misplaced your intentions and your energy. And with misplaced intentions and energy, you are a scattered individual. All it takes to fix 90% of your problems is to just develop that level of personal integrity. To say what you mean and to mean what you say, to follow through, to honor your word, to live within your means and if you're not happy to work hard to expand your means rather than simply take what is not yours. That is a sure shot recipe for disaster. Spiritual disaster, I'm saying. Because the whole world may look up to you, but deep inside, you will remain very hollow and very scattered and very powerless. Have that integrity and watch miracles happen then in your life. Mm -hmm.